Uh, my name is Darren Edwards. I'm a Chief Panel Beater at PK Thornton Restoration and uh, just here now to talk about a little bit more work on the E-Type that we've been doing. The uh, car is almost ready to go for paint now. We've uh, moved along a bit with it now since the last time we spoke and uh, developed the front end now has been almost completed. Um, some of the things we've been doing is uh, modifying the front bumper to uh, incorporate the front grille from the Series 1 E-Type. We first were deciding to uh, fit the Series 1 grille, but the mouthpiece on the Series 3 is a lot wider than the Series 1, so we'd have to develop the bumpers a little bit more. So instead of doing that, we decided to make a one-piece um, bumper system with the grille in, integral to it. As you can see, when you place the uh, Series 1 grille, it's a lot narrower than the uh, Series 3 mouthpiece. So what we did was, with the bespoke front bumper that we had made, we decided to incorporate the, uh, the grille as well. So this will now be a one-piece front bumper, so we can fit the uh, Jaguar Iconic badge in the middle. Uh, and I think it makes it look a lot cleaner and a lot uh, different to anything else that's out there. So people ask, why Resto-Mod? Well, it seems to be becoming a popular norm nowadays. There's a lot of companies doing it. Um, I think it's because people are looking for that classic look of a car, but with the modern luxuries that are involved with it. Maintaining the future styling issues that you know, the old cars had, they, they looked fantastic, but didn't always work as well as you would like. Uh, people like a car to look really good and um, handle really well, brake really well. And when you go out to the car in the morning and you want it to start first time. So incorporating all these uh, factors into the car and also uh, allowing the customer to have his own personal input to the vehicle to say what he would like and his design features that he would like on the car. So here at PK Thornton Restoration, we like to have the customer involved as much as he can to uh, put his ideas forward and to uh, us to run with the build with him to uh, see what is possible. Most things are possible on a build. Um, people think, well, you can't do that. Well, we'll look into what is available for the car or what is available out there in the world. We'll get it here and we'll try and fit it to the car. Design aspects like the bodywork and the interior can all be changed to whatever the customer would like. Um, we'll go through it and see what looks really good, what really flows with the design of the car and incorporate any little features that the, the customer would, would require going from having parking sensors to having air conditioning to having modern headlights that are really bright at night so you can see where you're going to uh, having a full upgraded brake system so that when you're, you're flying along in your lovely looking car, the thing will stop when you want it to. Um, a lot of people, there are a lot of different trains of thought on a classic car. There are purists that think that a car should never be touched. It should be as it was uh, built from the factory. Um, and there are people who think, well, I would like to have the car look this way, or they take design cues from seeing another car and think that would look really good on this car. It's just a different way of people appreciating what they have. I think it's open to whoever owns the vehicle to have the car how they would like it. It doesn't matter uh, what the car is, how much it's worth, and, and things like this. If you own that car and you want to enjoy it, I think it's down to you to have the car that you want to have the things that you would like on the car that you have in your modern car, or just aesthetically pleasing to the eye if you would like something that you wish that they had done at factory uh, input to be done now. Um, to me, it's, it it's, it's doesn't matter. It's down to the customer. So uh, take this car, for example. The customer, um, it started off as a very low uh, spec project to start with, but as it went on, the car, in incorporated a lot more different design aspects. Now the customer is having uh, parking sensors, air conditioning, a bespoke interior to how he would like it with uh, a upgraded stereo system with sat nav and Bluetooth capabilities. Um, so as we said, 
the customer can have what he would like on the car to uh, if he wants to use it as an everyday car he can he, he can drive this car all the time it'll perform and uh, it'll be comfortable to drive and uh, he'll be able to uh, enjoy it so um, now that the car is almost ready for painting what we will do now is um, we'll final gap set uh, around the car to make sure the gaps are perfect um, before it goes off for painting. Uh, the bumpers and all the other bright work will be uh, chromed at this point while the car's away at painting. So when it, the car returns from painting, we can start the uh, build process of putting the engine all back together and getting everything set on the car ready for the uh, final reveal. Um, so stay tuned if you're interested in this project and uh, for future updates and check out our other social media accounts.